Hey everyone, Miguel Benitez here helping you on the search for thoughtful Christianity. So this is video number six of a series of seven that I'm doing where I lay out multiple lines of evidence for the historicity of the resurrection of Jesus. And so today what I want to focus on is the conversion of the Apostle Paul. You see, Paul, or Saul as he was named before, was actually a persecutor of the church. He was not a Christian early on, and in fact was against the Christian movement. Kenneth Samples in his book, Seven Truths That Changed the World, writes this about the conversion of Paul. What caused Paul's conversion? Arguably the greatest religious conversion in history? To understand the true magnitude of this conversion, let's consider what may be the modern equivalent of Paul's first century conversion to Christianity. Imagine the British Prime Minister and statesman Winston Churchill becoming a Nazi, or American President Ronald Reagan becoming a communist, or Fuhrer Adolf Hitler becoming a convert to Judaism. Whatever equivalent one chooses, Paul's conversion to Christianity was such an absolutely astounding event. What was it that caused this conversion of Paul? This radical conversion, what Ken Samples calls the greatest conversion in history? Well, Paul tells us himself, there's no need to speculate. What changed his mind? Nothing other than a post-mortem appearance by Jesus. Jesus had been dead at point A, and now Paul was seeing him alive at point B. He was an eyewitness to the resurrected Jesus. And that was sufficient to cause him to completely reverse the track that he had taken in life. You see, Paul was no ordinary Jewish person. Paul was a very educated Jewish person who had a great lineage and was primed to be a great leader in Judaism. And yet he let all of that go. He turned away from all of that when he had this encounter with the resurrected Jesus. And he gave his life, dedicated it to something that he had initially fought with everything that he had in him. Paul's conversion demands an explanation. And the best explanation is that he saw the risen Jesus. I believe that the conversion of Paul plus the other lines of evidence that I've laid out thus far, overwhelmingly state that Jesus did raise from the dead. And so I would encourage you, if you haven't already, trust in Jesus, the one that God raised from the dead. You see, because he died, he was buried, and he was raised from the dead for the forgiveness of our sins and so that we may have eternal life with him. And so I'd encourage you to trust in the one who can raise people from the dead. As always, I leave you with this. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things.